So there's a really good conversation on cyber resilience in Davos this year. For the first time, I think there was just a broad acceptance that it's a real problem, it's a real threat, and as someone said, there are two kinds of CEOs, either those who are working on analyzing how they've been hacked or those that don't understand that they've been hacked. In the past, I think we had a lot of people who are still saying, it's going to happen to someone else. Now it's happening to everybody and they understand it. So you've got an open dialogue and a real call for individual responsibility, a board level review of companies to review their risk and how well prepared they are for cyber attacks. You also have governments finally stepping up and trying to understand how they play a better role. At the same time, we see the scale of the attacks growing. The bad guys are getting bigger and their tools are getting bigger. And so everyone needs to respond now with better protections. It means they have to share data. There was also a real differentiation in three kinds of attacks. So you have the cyber criminals who are going after effectively getting money. You have the cyber terrorists, and there are only a couple of cases that people think are documented to really do cyber terrorism online, and then you have state-sponsored or military attacks of a country against another. I think in the end, the conclusion was cybersecurity is everybody's problem, and we need to understand that the game has changed quite a bit. So we're going to need a new level of transparency, a new kind of defense, which I believe can come from the cloud itself, and a new level of just accountability so that we can continue to at least play the bad guys to uh, draw on a standstill, if not start pushing them back.